In our last episode, Stan and Luther respond to an urgent call from the White House to circumvent the nuclear missile's launch sequence after they're accidentally engaged by the janitor. Will they be able to save the world? Or not? Now look, you can't come in here. You're not authorized. What is this shit? This is what my goddamn tax money is going for, you nasty little deviant sex freak? God damn, that's some nasty shit. Listen, sir, if we don't halt the missile's launch sequence within the next five minutes, this half of the globe will be left in smoldering ruin. So please, step aside while I reboot. No! Don't touch my porno, you monster! Alright, now you done made me have to use force. And I'm a man of peace, damn it. Hey! Stop it! No! Hey, no! Hey, stop it! No! And right now, baby, I'm gonna get me a little piece of that right there. The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Please note, the new number is... Okay, I think that just about does it. World destruction sequence aborted. Porno to resume in five, four, three, two. Damn, little dog. You did it. Saved a goddamn world and shit. Oh, it was nothing. Oh my god. Is that a lady's brassiere on the floor? And a. and a used. Oh my god. That janitor is just a pervert. I think the president should be told what kind of things go on in here. Oh, I think the president knows everything that goes on in the White House. He's got cameras everywhere. Damn, bitch. You give me a copy of that shit? There they are, men. Take them! All right, you un-American cyber terrorist types. You just come along quietly, and nobody needs to get tased. Got it? Yeah, step away from the computer. Yeah, Charlie, hold that last bus heading to the Guano Bay suspected un-American detention center and big game preserve. We got... Two more guests of the state. <laughs> well, I guess you swarthy bunch of radical, fanatical, sand devil miscreants thought you were pretty clever coming here masquerading as regular American white people and oh so convincing Negroes and just as bold as brass. Your profile makes me want to puke, you arrogant, subversive. Damn it, where's my stun gun? I think I see him resisting arrest. Now hold it right there, Kurt. You can't go interrogating Kleiner Schweik software technicians like that. They got trade secrets and stuff, but we don't have security clearance to hear about. You want to get us in trouble? Anyway, these here fellas just managed to get the new Kleiner Schweik vector service pack installed on all the missiles without blowing up a single one. Bet that damn limey prime minister ain't feeling so damn smug with his house on fire. <laughs> Say, Kurt, why don't you just manhandle these two fine boys up to the press briefing room? We got time to make the six o'clock news if we hurry. Hey, who the hell you calling them boys, sucker? Oh, now, come on, my nig. I got nothing but respect for you people of darker color, yo. I'm all down with sports and that funky rap music and shit. Mr. President, we're live in five, four, 
three, two. This thing on, test, test, one, two. All right, good. My fellow Americans, I need to interrupt y'all's supper for this very important pronouncement. At 5.30 today, my time, maybe at some other time, wherever y'all were at, the nation, and by that I mean the world as we have came to know it, was saved at the last minute from nuclear despoilation or even more infinite or badness by the quick, inspired, and decision-like action of a pair of two defecated Americans, Stanley uh, Obergeck and his trusty Negro sidekick, Luther Zenmaster Flash, both highly restrained technical-type guys from the Kleinerschweig Software Company. Yeah, Kleinerschweig, keeping America working late since 1985. Sorry, folks, they're paying for this airtime. So without further to do, I hereby award these boys... I'm telling you, man, watch that boy shit. ...full presidential pardons and a reduction of most applicable fines for breaches of Homeland Security directives. These fine boys were merely the first point on our 10, no, 20-point strategizing, paradigm type thingy, and the rest of which are currently declassified and will be undeclassified and announced as soon as their synergistic paradigms are deemed proactivized enough. And furthermore, in grateful thanks and with even thankful or gratitude to the quick action on the part of the Kleinerschweich Company and their handy randy tech guys, I also issue this here executive order to remove all antitrust restrictions that might now or could be at some future date and time be deemed inconvenient or otherwise spurring to the Kleiner Schweik Software Company so they can continue to do what they do best with no interference from government or the free market, which is to keep America working late. People, people, listen people, technology isn't supposed to make your life more complicated. It's not meant to create more work for you. It doesn't exist just to make you spend money that could be used to feed and clothe and educate your children. It doesn't have to take up all your time that you could be using to be productive members of society, involved citizens of your country, loving fathers and mothers. Okay, look. Responsible technology in the hands of informed users has, since the dawn of civilization, been the one thing that distinguishes us from all the other higher primates. It's been what's enabled us to enjoy the highest standard of living the world has ever known. We don't have to lose that, people. I mean, if we could only harness technology instead of letting it harness us, our lives could be so much better so much more productive, so much more enjoyable. Uh, you mean it could be more funner? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hey, Steve, you did it. You saved us all. However can I thank you? Well, um, how about we go out to dinner tonight? That was, uh, a rhetorical question. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, Mr. Stanley Ubergeek, you have foiled me this time. It will not happen.